The municipality of San Antonio, is a second-class municipality in the province of Zambales, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 34,661 people. History San Antonio was a hunting region where indigenous hunters from the northern towns of Zambales would hunt, and gather. The first settlers from the Paoay area in Ilocos Norte arrived in 1830, and founded the first Spanish settlement that developed into what is now San Antonio. San Antonio was given the status of district or barrio in 1836. The town mayor in that period was Don Gregorio Banaga. He governed the town from 1836 to 1849. He was succeeded by Don Vicente La Cuesta in 1849, from Teniente Primero to Teniente Absoluto. The last mayor was Don Santiago Ladrillono. He was succeeded by Don Dimas Pascasio as governor in 1856. They selected their leaders every year. In 1891-1898, Don Pablo Corpus was the only Capitan Municipal selected then appointed Don Felix Magsese as the first President Municipal, and many more followed up to 1931-1945. The town was the site of the United States Navy base known as the U.S. Naval Communications Station San Miguel. After the earthquake and eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991, the United States military decided to abandon its military bases in the Philippines. Geography San Antonio is politically subdivided into 14 barangays. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of San Antonio, Zambales, was 34,661 people, with a density of 180 inhabitants per square kilometer or 470 inhabitants per square mile. Tourist attractions San Antonio is increasingly known for its beaches, mountains and coves, and is a destination for campers and beachgoers. Ticlados Applied Music Center Ticlados, located at Brgy. Antipolo, it was owned and founded by Dr. Seferino Carioso III in 2002 to tutor young pianists and guitarists. Ticlados catered to the following instruments, piano, violin, guitar, organ, flute, and voice. Solfege and music theory are also offered in the center. Its students won national competitions like the NAMCYA. Casa San Miguel, founded by violinist Coke Bolapada, the community center provides its members the time and space for developing their interest and talent in classical music. Pundaquit, nestled in the navel of the Zambales coastline, a Spanish lighthouse from the 1800s is found atop the Isla de Punta Capones. This is reminiscent of places such as Sierra Leone. Zambales is also home to the famous Crystal Beach Surf in the town of San Narciso. This surf spot is known as a surfing paradise, closest to Manila. Redondo Peninsula, a short mountainous peninsula extending about 15 kilometers 9 miles to the south of Zambales on western Luzon in the Philippines. It separates Subic Bay and the coasts around the Subic Bay metropolitan area of Subic and Alangapo from the South China Sea. It is known for its secluded coves, beaches and pine forested mountains. Anawangan Cove, it is a crescent-shaped cove with a pristine white sand beach. What makes the place unique is the unusual riddle of tall pine-like trees flourishing round its vicinity. In fact they are not pine trees, they are agoho trees, a species endemic to the Philippines, some Southeast Asian countries and northeastern parts of Australia. There are no roads leading to Anawangan. It is only accessible by a 30-minute boat ride from Pundaquit, San Antonio, or by a six-hour trek through hot, open trails through the Pundaquit Range. The cove's relative isolation has kept it free from development. Just behind the beach is the pine forest and a marsh, where there are natural springs feeding to the sea. The area is home to a number of bird species. Nagzasa Cove Talisayan Cove Salangan Cove Capones Island Kamara Island Education Elementary Hildegard von Bingen Academy, Inc. H. 
BBA San Antonio Central Elementary School SACES West Dorita Elementary School Dorita Elementary School San Esteban Elementary School San Gregorio Elementary School SGES San Juan Elementary School San Nicolas Elementary School San Miguel Elementary School Pundicate Elementary School Angel Manglikmat Memorial School Formerly Angeles Elementary School Teodoro R. Yonko Elementary School TRYMS Teodoro R. Yonko Catholic Educational Institute TRYCEI Valiant Educational Institute High School Angel C. Manglikmat High School ACMHS Pundicat High School Luzon Technical Institute Inc. LTI Teodoro R. Yonko Catholic Educational Institute TRYCEI San Miguel National High School San Antonio National High School Valiant Educational Institute Hildegard von Bingen Academy Inc. H BBA Montessori Precious Child Montessori Escuela Royal de Maria Montessori Saint Anthony Montessori of Zambales Inc. Sports San Antonio, influenced by the presence of the United States Naval Communication Station in the late 50s, is the baseball and softball capital of Zambales. Mayor Zosimo Pascasio and the Holy Name Society adopted the program in the 60s and 70s. Their partnership produced players who became athletic scholars in various colleges and universities in Manila. In the early 80s, J.J. Henry and Chuck Jones of Fra Branch 367, U.S. Navy retirees, living in San Antonio, further enhanced the enthusiasm for the sport through the Shipmates, a team of 10 to 12-year-old boys coming from the different barangays who competed in the PABA Philippine Amateur Baseball Association Invitational. In 1985, the core of the team intact and playing for T.R. Yonko Educational Institute, the shipmates coached by Butch Echevere, won the baseball gold in the CLRAA Central Luzon Regional Athletic Association, a first for Zambales. The San Antonio TNT Jaycees, most of whom are employees at the U.S. Navy base, continued the program with their annual San Antonio Summer Baseball Cup successfully. After the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991, due to the destruction of the playing fields and the withdrawal of the U.S. bases, support for the baseball program dwindled. Eager to find an alternative sports activity, Butch Echevere and some friends introduced darts to the community. From its humble beginnings at a place called Cubo, presently, the Zambales Darters Federation is considered as one of the best dart organizations in the country for having hosted several national competitions. Its no school, no play policy is now adopted nationwide and the NDFP, National Darts Federation of the Philippines, conferred the President's Award to the group during the Darterong Pinoy 2012. The community's love for baseball was rekindled in the late 90s after losing the provincial baseball crown to Botolan, Zambales. The SADTEA, San Antonio District Teachers and Employees Association, took the initiative of organizing an inter-school tournament. This time, a softball tournament for girls is included. Supported by some officials of the local government and equipment donated by San Antonians locally and abroad, San Antonio baseball, softball is better than it ever was. As a member of the Little League Asia Pacific region, San Antonio has always reached the quarter-finals of the Philippine series. Erwin Mata is the Little League president of San Antonio. Aside from fast becoming a surfing capital of Luzon, San Antonio has an 18-hole golf course at the Naval Education and Training Command of the Philippine Navy, formerly U.S. Naval Communication Station. Notable people from San Antonio Don Teodoro R. Yonko, noted philanthropist and business magnate, was born in San Antonio, Zambales on November 9, 1861. He obtained his Bachelor of Arts from the Ateneo de Manila University and studied law at the University of Santo Tomas. He pursued a commercial course at Ealing College in London from 1882 to 1886. He served as resident commissioner of the Philippine Islands from 1917 to 1920 in Washington, D.C. In 1923, he represented the Philippine Chamber of Commerce at the first Pan-Pacific Commercial Conference held in Honolulu, where he ably defended Philippine independence. He generously supported the local YMCA such that he came to be called the father of the YMCA in the Philippines. He died on April 20, 1939 and was buried at the North Cemetery. Guillermo Pablo, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines from 1945 to 1955, was born on June 25, 1886 in San Antonio, Zambales. 
Prior to his appointment to the High Court, he was Justice of the Peace 1911, at Iba, Zambales, Acting Provincial Fiscal 1915, of Zambales, Member of the Philippine Legislature 1916-1922, CFI Auxiliary Judge 1924, at Cebu, and CFI Judge 1930, and CFI District Judge 1934. In film B. Alonzo and Sam Milby movie and I Love You So, shot at Anawangan Cove in San Antonio, a 30 minutes boat ride from Pundaquit. References External links Pundaquit's official website Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information